There's something amazing about Java developers that makes us able to hone in on duplication really quickly. And whilst other developers might think that duplicated versions in a Gradle build script isn't a big deal, we know that these things can quickly spiral out of control and cause a problem. So welcome to this Gradle best practice tip where you'll learn to centralize dependency versions using version catalogs so you can easily access them from any sub project. Let's get right into it. So in this project, Makito Core and Makito Inline need to have the same version, but it's currently duplicated. This can cause a problem when we need to update that version and we'll need to search for any instance of it and we'll inevitably miss one. Prior to version catalogs, one way to resolve this was to use the extra properties feature where we would define variables for the versions and then reuse those variables within the dependency definition. Whilst this did the job, there were several other approaches used by different projects and there was no single standard way to manage dependency versions within Gradle. Thankfully, in the Gradle 7.4 release, the version catalogs feature became available with a standard approach for managing dependencies and versions and also plugins from a single central location. So let's migrate this project to use the version catalogs feature. The version catalog lives in a file in the Gradle directory called libs.versions.toml. A toml file is a configuration file which follows a specific type of syntax, which is pretty easy to follow. We can define different sections within this file, including versions, where we'll define our Makito and JUnit Jupyter versions, and a libraries section, which is where we'll define our actual dependency group name and versions, and we'll reference these from the build script. The syntax here is to use dashes, which you'll see will be replaced by dots when we access this later on. And here we set some key values, the module, which is the dependency group and name, and the version, which we reference the version defined above. If you're using IntelliJ IDEA, you can auto format this TOML file to make it look pretty. So now that we've defined our version catalog, let's see how we can use it from the build script. It's pretty straightforward. We just use this libs syntax, and then we reference the library name replacing dashes with dots. And of course, we can remove the ext block. Let's load Gradle changes in the IDE to make sure everything's okay. And we can see that we can still build this project. So you can see here that in this TOML version catalog, you can define single versions of dependencies. You can reuse those versions in library definitions, and then you can use those in the build script to easily reference any dependency. Two final things to point out here, and one is that you can use this version catalog information from any sub project in your build. And two is that if you're going to use version catalogs in your project, I recommend using it for all dependencies. That way, if you need to upgrade a dependency, you'll know exactly where to go. So that was a very quick example of how you can use the awesome Gradle Catalogs feature to centralize your dependency versions. If you want a slightly more extensive run through, then I definitely recommend checking out my very helpful Gradle Multi-Project Masterclass, which specifically shows you how to do this in multi-project builds. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.